It is almost 3 p.m. We have yet to leave the apartment today because we've both been working on our computers. Karen is behind me in bed. She's been catching up on the vlogs and I have been travel planning. The month of October is going to be a big month for us. We're going to be going to a lot more places than usual and traveling a lot faster than usual. So I have a lot of things to get in order. So since we spent all morning working on our computers and the vlog's not going to be that great, it's not going to have a lot of content, I thought I'd take today to show you our travel plans through the month of October. And normally like I'd try to draw it out on a sheet of paper or something, but I think if I tried to draw Eastern Europe and like our plans, it would just turn into a big jumble mess. So I think it's best if we jump over to the computer. All right, before we get started, I have to admit something. I had to Google how to pronounce the names of at least half of these cities. So if I butcher some words, please forgive me. We are currently in Ljubljana, Slovenia, and tonight we are catching an overnight bus to Split, Croatia. We'll be in Split until September 29th, then we're planning to rent a car and drive to the town of Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The plan is to stay in Mostar for two nights, and then we're going to continue on to the city of Dubrovnik, which is back in Croatia, and there we'll be meeting back up with our Australian friends. After staying in Dubrovnik for five days, we're going to continue on to the town of Kotor in Montenegro. And after spending four or five days in the town of Kotor, we're planning to go to Albania. We're not sure where yet, but somewhere in Albania. After spending a few days somewhere in the town of Albania, we're planning to continue on to Skopje. Scope? Skopje? Scop? Scop? The capital of Macedonia. After spending a couple days in the capital of Macedonia, we're going to continue on to Pristina. Is that, how do you spell this? Pristina. Pristina. Pristina in Kosovo. So up until this point, it is all overland travel via either public bus or renting a car. And finally, we're planning to fly from Pristina to Athens, Greece where we'll be meeting our friends Jordan and Julianne, who you may remember from the vlogs when they met us in New Zealand. We're planning to spend October 19th through the 26th in Greece with Jordan and Julianne. Not exactly sure what we'll be doing, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun because it's always fun when we travel together. And then after October 26th, we have no plans. The month of November is completely up in the air. We've been looking at like cheap off-season cruises potentially. Maybe we'll brave the cold and go to some of the Eastern European countries that we haven't been to yet. Maybe we'll head towards warmer weather in the Middle East and explore like Dubai and some other countries around there. But we do know that in December we're coming back to Europe for Christmas market. Hopefully. That's hopefully the plan. That's what we do. <laughs> And now we are going to watch our most adorable Airbnb host, Jose, dance in the courtyard because he is a retired professional dancer and we're going to go watch him. <laughs> Kara really likes our Airbnb host for these past few days. He has been incredibly nice. <laughs> It sounds like it's coming from over there and over. It's 346 on a Saturday. We're rewarding ourselves for all of our hard work this morning. And it's burning me very bad. It's currently 4 15 p.m. Dancing was supposed to begin at 4. We're standing in the square where we think the dancing was supposed to be. To say there was some sort of miscommunication. I'm hoping it's a flash mob. <laughs> You're just gonna appear out of nowhere. That 
That's Jose. Way to go! Did you so? Yeah, we watched the whole thing. We were late, but uh, anyway, <laughs> we hung out. We're shopping at H and M. Care shopping. Um, sitting here. Jeans that fit. Yay! Very excited. We're finally leaving. Like at least an hour later. So much fun! So we decided that we'd take the overnight bus to save money on a night in an Airbnb, which we probably saved like forty or fifty dollars, and I just spent thirty-nine. We used it all on clothes. <laughs> Feel a little fat today. Thought we'd make some healthy choices. I'm very sore after our bike ride yesterday, <laughs> so I'm embarrassed. We also got two cheese rolls. <laughs> He didn't think I was gonna tell him, did he you? He made some unhealthy choices <laughs> as well. 50-50, at least we didn't go 100% unhealthy. I kinda forgot we had the cheese. <laughs> Looking good in your hat. Thanks, I have no other way to transport it so on my head. You love it. I should leave it behind, but I just can't part with it. <laughs> it is now 8.30 p.m. Our bus leaves at 9.05. Should be a 15 minute walk to the bus station. And for once, we're not running late. Here we go. We need to go quick. So, Kara and I were just talking and I felt like I should pull out the camera. We're just walking down this dark street at night to some bus station. With everything we have. And like, we know the general direction of the bus station. We're pretty sure that's where the bus is gonna be. We're never like 100% sure. But we were just talking about how normal this feels. And like a few minutes ago, we were just freaking out because we didn't have our bus tickets printed yet. We had no idea how to get them printed because there wasn't anything open to print them. And they just went wandering down the road to random hostels asking if he could use their <laughs> printer. It's such a weird problem that you would never have in normal life. But in our life, it's very normal. <laughs> it's not almost complaining. like running late to stuff, not knowing exactly how stuff is gonna work. Like, almost feels routine at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but that's just what we were discussing. We've arrived at the bus station. Now to find our bus. That one doesn't say split. That doesn't say split. Neither does that one. Or that one? Oh, I wish we were on that one. That one says split. This was almost the smoothest transition onto a bus that we've ever had. We got here in plenty of time. We found the bus, no problem. But they're making us pay to put our bags under the bus. Which is two euro, it's not a big deal. But we literally have 50 cents left. So now I gotta go put money in the ATM. Again, not a huge deal, but it was just like almost too easy, and then of course. We always heard of people charging, but it's never happened to us before. We are on the bus with 10 minutes to spare, which is definitely a first. However, the night is starting to go like slightly downhill. As we were getting on the bus, I asked him if there was an inside seat, and he was like, no, you'll be switching buses in Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. When I booked it, it said it was one bus which is like not a big deal, but I probably just would have gone to sleep and who knows where we would have ended up. So we've got like two and a half hours until we switch buses. Hopefully we don't have to sit there for like hours waiting on the next one. Are you enjoying this nice relaxing music? Yeah, we like it. <laughs> you look like a smurf. <laughs> getting our passports checked. We got an unexpected new stamp on the passport. We had to uh, get off the bus and get stamped out of Slovenia and into Croatia. 
I think we have like 30 minutes till we get to Zach Rose. It is about 11.30. We are transferring buses. Very smooth. They let us sit on that bus for like five minutes until this one got here. Now we're going to split. There we go. Hopefully we're going to sleep at some point in the next five hours. We're on a new bus and nobody's on here. All right, the ultimate test. The overnight bus just dropped us off at the bus station in Split. According to Google Maps, our Airbnb is a 20 minute walk away, so we're going for a little stroll. This is feeling oddly familiar. <laughs> Sleeping for like two hours and then being dropped off in the dark. I will say, I slept better on that bus than I slept on any of them. You do. There were about 10 people on that bus. We had plenty of space. That's good. And my American football team won their game. I got to listen to it. Go ball! They beat their biggest rival that they haven't beat in 11 years, so it was a great bus ride. <laughs> well, let's hope our Airbnb host is awake to let us in when we get there. <laughs> We think it's that one. Maybe. Ten. Ten. This is it. We're here. Our Airbnb host is not, which is fair. We told her six. It's like 5.30. I count it for the bus being late and us getting lost at least once on the way here. <laughs> so Neither of those happened. It's been a pretty smooth transition since getting split. And now we sit on the sidewalk and wait. It is 6.40 in the morning. We survived another overnight bus ride and now... It's time to go to sleep. For at least like a few hours. Hmm. And then we explore Split. Why? 